All right, thank you very much, Janice. It's time to talk about your money and getting the new year started off right financially. Stuart Welch joins us from the Welch Group. And uh, you were here a couple segments ago. We were talking about the top 10 things people need to do to really get their finances in gear for, for 2016. But I know you got some feedback about that, right? Yeah, we went to the viewers and said, what are some of your ideas? This, the first one was from my staff. Okay. Uh, and they had a bunch of ideas. And we said, let's go out to the viewers and see what they had to say. They had a bunch of ideas. First of all, roll tide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alabama big winners. Now it can you, be a big winner around your did, personal did you, finances. Did you stay up and watch it? I did it? stay up and watch okay. it. I'm <laughs> feeling the pain right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, you don't want to feel the pain in your wallet. Some people had some really good tips here. Yeah, they did. It was a lot of this was Linda. Linda came up with uh, change in the jar. It's kind of an oldie but a goodie. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, you just throw whatever change you got in a jar, and you do this all year. What I like doing is attaching some kind of goal to it. So it's either I'm going to save, put the money in there for next Christmas, or I'm going to do it for a charity and maybe get all the family involved, right. or pay down a certain debt. But it's kind of an easy way to do things, and it's fun, because you keep, you know, you see this jar keep getting bigger and bigger right, and bigger. Right. That was Linda. So it's a visual thing. You see, you're seeing your progress. Uh, but people were very thrifty. They had a lot of thrifty ideas as well. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy, uh, she's Medicare Part D, and she, they did not agree to pay a prescription drug that she had to have. So she went on an austerity program where she just looked at everything. This just is somebody overcoming a problem, and mm -hmm. she like. Uh, uh, check the prices at the pharmacies, whether it was a chain or independence. She uh, combined her auto and homeowners in order to get uh, a, a lower discount. pricing, mm -hmm. getting better discounts. She prepared all of her meals except for special occasions. Okay. Uh, and she stopped buying products that she didn't really need. And mm -hmm. she saved hundreds and actually she saved thousands of dollars. Uh, uh, and it was, uh, you know, a really important thing for her. I need to follow her tips right there because that's that, that's some good stuff. Uh, I need to really incorporate that. Now, you, she meant you mentioned her talking about, you know, making her own meals. Yeah. Uh, and I know you you've even talked about this a little bit about, you know, you could save a lot of money just by not going out to eat so much. You can. So if you if you if you brought your meal to lunch, mm -hmm. uh, your lunch to work. Uh, and let's say you save five bucks a, a day. Mm -hmm. That's over twelve hundred dollars a year. That's a pretty good chunk yeah. of money. Uh, we had another one. Jennifer said, I'm going to do an envelope system. So this is kind of an oldie but a goodie, but she would just come in and when she got her paycheck, she cashed it, put it in envelopes, so a grocery envelope, a clothes envelope, a kid's school envelope, okay. a gasoline envelope, and she just made sure that she stayed within that system. It's you know, very simple, easy to do. Man, just imagine if government and bureaucracies work that way. Tell me about it. Tell me envelope. about it. Don't touch that envelope. Don't tell this me is the about only it. envelope I have to work with. They could right use here. some help somewhere. They could. Um, so, yeah, that, and there's some of the tips right there on your screen. Um, some good stuff. I mean, I, and there's more on this, and we'll have a, a link provided on the WBRC News app and WBRC.com. Stuart Welch, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. All right.